Yo guys, what's up? My name's Jess. So, this is Commando Spitfire. He is a cooldown reduction minigun oriented hero. Uh, most people just use him in, I'd say, 124 power level twine and under. I'm currently doing it in a 160 and I want to say that you... The husks are really tanky. I mean, this monsters, you take them down like there's no problem, but then these guys... I mean, they hit really hard, but anyway, so right now what you're watching is minigun going commando going at it to the structures. You want to use this uh, for your advantage, you know, it, it's utility based, it can be both for damage and utility. Uh, here is some footage against the Smasher. He is power level 250, that is the highest level in the game, and it's taken nearly all of the duration of command going commando to take down a Smasher. Now, throughout this video you're just going to see little tidbits here and there, so... Right there I said you can put your ceiling traps on there, no one wanted to, so I just did it myself. Now, here's the deal. When you're doing physical versus a shielder, you need energy damage to like literally pierce the, sh the shit out of that. Now, unfortunately, I needed a teammate to take down the shielder. Now, if the teammate was not there, I would be in trouble. So, we are now starting the mission. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, you see we took down a blaster, piece of cake, now we're on the smasher. Well... Going Commando is now on a cooldown. It's on like a 10 second cooldown, 12 second, I don't remember. Yeah, 20 second, sorry, my bad. But then it's on a 5 second cooldown because we have Sergeant Jones in the support team, so literally Going Commando lasts for 15 seconds. Honestly, the ability is amazing. Even in Endgame Twine, it's just that it's really, uh, it's a liability, you know, and you're a liability to your teammates as well. You don't want to be a liability to your teammates when you're in Endgame Twine. Because it just gets kind of difficult, especially if you don't have good adequate traps, really good crowd control, and good pathing and whatnot for the husks to follow. Um, but yeah, you'll see like towards the end of this video, this section of the video, I have two clips. Um, I have to like keep repairing that and keep on building walls. Yeah, right there, you see on the right. Uh, just because it's hard. We only got one super structure. Anyway, yeah. So. I'm gonna show footage of a lower level mission that you guys should probably pretty much use this hero for. Um, but, I mean, when you're in Endgame Twine, like, I'm just gonna say it, you got teammates with brains. They really wanna win, they want that 1.5 mil hero XP and whatnot, and look at this. <laughs> Good thing we got vaulting. So, this is the lower level. Um, we, I got blessed, we got blessed by this beautiful base, it's literally three atlases lined up together, the stars really aligned for that to happen. But um, anyways, yeah, it's, it's, it's a beautiful base, I will say. So, I think this is level what, like level 115, 1, 116 comes for. So this is a more ideal mission to uh, be against. Um, right, you got grenades. I don't know why I was doing that. Literally, the, gra the grenades don't really deal much damage at all. It's like, what, 100k? Which is basically an auto attack with a sword. Um, but, yeah, so the minigun has, uh, not, not that bad of fall-off damage. Um, you can really shoot things out in the sky. Uh, the anti air did that. I don't know if I showcase it here, but I, we did it with a flinger. Yeah, I don't think I did. Oh, there's a flinger. Watch this. This guy's gonna go bye-bye. Literally decimated. The dude did not give a, get a chance to get a second breath. Although he's a zombie, so then again. But anyways, yeah, so you kind of use this hero for a ranged hero, and really you don't really need any sort of weaponry. I mean, if you are against a shielder and you don't have anyone with a xenon bow or paying attention, then just take out the xenon bow, pierce the husk, pierce the shielder, and you're good to go. But yeah, this this is really great for taking on these monsters, like I said before. It's just smashers. If it's not Chrome Guy or Diecast Jonesy, you're in for a world of we got Might Guy, sorry, wrong guy. All Might over here with no brain whatsoever. Literally, it says it right here in the upper corner. Trap vulnerable, and the guy's still going away, firing away, doing everything at it. But watch this. Boom. Took a chunk out of it. So, yeah, make sure you pay attention to the, uh, the modifiers of the husks. Um, they're still shooting away at it. I don't know why. It, they're literally not touching it at all. It's literally being tickled. Barely even a tickle. They, the, the, the minibus doesn't even feel it. Anyways, uh, so that's pretty much it. We're coming to a close. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name is Jess. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!